Oh, it's you two. As you can see, things are not looking good right now. People across Natlin are in danger. Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time. So we'll have to keep our conversation short. That's all right. We're also in a hurry. We're gonna go help the Children of Echoes after this. What? So he thinks my plan is too risky. He thinks I'm being stubborn. <sighs> I shouldn't underestimate the Fatui's ability to gather intelligence. The Gnosis does have that function, but there's more to the story. I will answer you honestly, but you must help me keep this a secret. I can use the power of the Gnosis to save Natlan, but it comes at a heavy price. The Gnosis would drain all the souls and memories from the Night Kingdom and weave them into a giant net, which would surround the ley lines and protect them against abyssal corrosion. Wait, you can use souls to weave a net? But does that mean...? Yes. It means sacrificing those souls in the process. Souls are just another form of life. The cruelty of this method is self-evident. <sighs> The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our memories and legends. Using the Gnosis means converting all three into material for the net, erasing our history and culture. <sighs> Even then, the net can still become corroded. If we cannot find a way to repair the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing. Given the enormity of the price, it's a solution I refuse to consider right now. I want us to win, but I also care about how we win, and what that means for us in the end. Now it's true, both plans come at a risk, but after weighing our options, this is our best bet. Natlan is unique among the nations of Tavat. Given the ever-looming threat of the Abyss, the Pyra Archons had to account for the worst-case scenario. Having a contingency plan is our duty. Not just to the people of Natlan, but to all who live on this continent. Still, this has always been a well-kept secret. I'm very curious how the captain learned this information. Oh, one more thing? The captain said he found another way to solve the problem. Could be equally as extreme, though. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option. But I... See no reason for him to lie. Seems like our only path forward is to track him down, so he can answer that question for us. Judging by your expression, you must have doubted me, even if just for a second. Not even a little! We would never- Wait, what are you talking about, Traveler? <laughs> Just as expected. I appreciate your sincerity. Maybe it was out of caution, anxiety, or simple curiosity, but know this. No matter what, our goal remains the same. We both want to save the people of this land. So now that you have your answer, do you still doubt me? <sighs> you scared Paimon. You really got a lot of guts, Traveler. <sighs> That's a good thing. Oh, and feel free to call me Mawika. It's what all my friends call me, and I like it that way. As for the captain, the intelligence officers we assigned to the Fatui should be back soon. We'll get our answer then. That's great! Sounds like we just have to wait a little longer. <sighs> Not just yet. Even though the Abyss is attacking several locations at once, I'm confident the warriors stationed in those areas can handle it. Don't worry. I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, then I'll take a small team to handle the difficult locations. Wait, you're going to fight in person? Didn't you give up your power? That's true. I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state. But don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front lines. Oh, now you doubt my strength. That hurts, Traveler. If we had time to spar, you might think otherwise. 
Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I've considered moving my people to other nations, but given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences. I've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements. Now, I just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of the crisis to the people of Natlan. Paimon's a little worried about how people will react. <sighs> yes, but that won't be the only response. In any case, that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. All right, we should head out. Maybe we can join up with Moani. She can't be too far ahead. <laughs> no need to worry about me. <laughs> <laughs>